Good morning, Captain. Good Welcome to Stuart Island. Morning, Bit of a mission to get down here. Drove all the way down from the west coast, went through Queenstown. Good Bit of a quick stop there. Had a pretty mean feed at Tinsy House, cooked us some ribeye steaks and then up the next day bacon sandwiches and then in the truck powered it through bluff straight to the wharf jump on the boat man what a mean setup this boat is so good so cheers clean cheers there fellas what a raw bit of bit of enthusiasm there eh? there we go yeah oh look <laughs> what a dismal bunch dogs i think we were going to alcatraz or somewhere oh no dogs fair course pretty grey down that way, we are in the arsehole, but it gets better once you go through the arsehole, you get to Stewart Island. Left in Vicargill and cruised across and holy moly, man that sea was so flat, it was so flat. Nate, Captain Nate, Nate Dog, he reckons it's the flattest that he's ever seen it. And also cruising down around the western coastline, just smooth sailing the whole way. Didn't see any deer. We had a pretty good look on the clearance as we as we cruised down. Yeah. Like we're gone rolling. Rolling all the time. I can pop my initials. All use behind. And it's hey little water boy. We went for a bit of a dive last night. Bit of a dive it was challenging. There was a layer of clear water in between the top and the bottom, which, which made it quite hard to see. <laughs> Hashtag no homo. What's the crack of that belt there, mate? It's just uh, like a weightlifter's belt, same concept, just distributing the weight of it like more on your back you so you don't get a crook back at the like end of the day. Job. It's just an old bit of conveyor rubber. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Deep as possible. Yeah, it's deep as. No, no, that's good. Yeah. Well, we wanted it shallow as possible. Yeah. What yeah. the yeah. hell, yeah. eh? <laughs> <laughs> The problem is he's been taking the pros diving the last couple of times. Oh, there's, there's a pin about 50 metres down there, fellas. Might be able to five metres, sneak up on it maybe. Well, if you don't... Set your water bucket down. Yeah, this episode is proudly brought to you by Waka Tangy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just got a new mask which is leaking like a sieve so I just cruised around and filmed but the boys got a few craze, a couple of powers, shot a couple of fish. Cool, octopus. Can't see if I can go and make friends with them. Pretty mean fish. She's hard work out there. There wasn't a lot of crayfish around. Oh, yep, we. Mean one. Now you echo. A bit. 
Oh, someone shot a monkey, eh? Dog. Who shot that? Yeah. I've already blown that fucking scene out of that building. Hey, look at it. I won't even put any bait on the other one. Going on. Got Josh in the fucking. That's the size we want, really. Yeah. Tasty. Tasty. Yeah, man. Wick is big one. Spilled all of his. Um... Oh, what a great cook up. Pretty good cook up. Pretty lucky. Pretty special. Amazing to live in a country like this. Oh, oh. Put a bit of dog. Stiff the mouldy gear in there. Stiff the Mary, you yeah. fellas haven't tried Stiff the Mary yet. Give it a crack. What you got going on here, horse? This is just uh, the standard gravity brew of Kray Sashimi. 50-50 kombu soy with pickled ginger. And then just... Um, We've got some of Julio Sterler's homemade, um, it's just dog and onion weed oil pretty much, just blitzed in a thermomix. Gives it quite a nice, uh, don't need too much, it's pretty dog and potent. And why is that soy sauce different than your regular soy sauce? Because it's derived from seaweeds, so yeah, not from your normal soybean sauce. Dogs. Is that fish as well, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Hookers or something. If you fellas don't know what that white bottle is, that's QP mayonnaise. Everyone should be in the know by now, but it's Japanese mayonnaise. Man, it's good. They do a sesame, QP sesame dressing as well. That's the, the mutts nuts, and they do sriracha, mayo, and all the rest of it. Give it a crack. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Bar, I think it might be a little strong. A few dogs out there. <coughs> Dog. Dog. Gone for diving. I'm here on the boat doing the office work. Don't want to lose any of this footage, it's just too epic. It's just about to ship my wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sit off the boat before and shuttle over the corner there, I had to wash it off. <laughs> And someone yelled out, Oi, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know who that was. Me. Oh, was that you, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> he busted me mid shit clean on the edge of the boat. I was wiping it off. <laughs> Pants around my ankles, wiping the shit off the boat. What's going on, bro? We're just doing our method of tenderizing the power. Don't throw the but, um, away, I'm keeping them all. Yeah, we're just bleeding them because Pa was actually hemophiliac, so you bleed them out naturally, it's like you're bleeding a fish, so all of that lactic acid and all that stuff goes with it as well. So you just kind of whack it on the cross on the bottom, just till you start to see the blood running. And then 
put it on the shell side down on ice for no longer than about, well no less than 15 minutes on ice on the shell. Some good info right there, eh? You've been schooled, son. Is this your uh, flash as cod catching rig, bro? Yeah. Jack's going to charge across the line first on the hand line. Get <laughs> yeah, boy! Uh, as soon as the as soon as the sinkers hit the bottom, three fish on straight away. It was an instant hookup. This is just a double wicky jimmy, so you just cut that main artery in the tail to get all of the flat flower blood out of it for you to shoot. Not bad. Hand lines away to go, boys. Yes. So they're neck and neck because Josh got a double. Running around trying to film everything because there was just fish on everywhere. Up on the and five minutes later, we got more than enough for a feed. Had to chuck him back. Set the beat down a couple of times, obviously. We're just pulling into Mason's Bay. This is where we're going to go for a hunt for the day, for the afternoon. Uh, weather conditions look pretty good for it, so we should take the opportunity while we're around here, and then we'll see what happens later on. Maybe we'll go, uh, maybe we'll head a bit further south down to Ernest Island, um, sorry, Easy Harbour, and then stay there for the night and be a little bit further south. 
Boys are gearing up, we're going to go ashore here and do a bit of foraging. Take a couple of cannons just in case we see an easy deer. Middle of the day, probably not. You never know though. I'm going to try find some amber grease and get even richer. And uh, a whale tooth. Boys are gonna go look for a deer. I'm just gonna look for cool shit on the beach. Who knows what you'll find down in Stewart Island. Treasure. Buried treasure. There's the treasures. Right there. Oh, more treasure. Just assuming those are whale heads, there's three of them. They must be baby whales. Surely there's amber grease on this part of the beach. They were just right here in this little pocket. There's got to be some amber grease lying around there somewhere. Probably up at the high tide mark. Ah, oh, what a score. Don't know what it is, but what a score. More treasures in the rocks here. Might be able to find everyone a piece of whalebone to take home with them. That'd be pretty cool. Another one down there. Oh, another two skulls. Two more whale skulls and another vertebrae. about a metre deep in pippies right here. Pippies for Africa. Well, there must be a lagoon around here somewhere with pippies in. What an awesome spot. This is Mason's Bay. We're in now Mason's Bay. Here come the rest of the lads. <laughs> that was close. Woo! My has done themselves a mischief. Dog. That would have been some good television right there, lads. No deer today. It's the middle of the day. I thought I heard a shot ring out from where Josh and Jack went, though, so maybe they've got one. Just here. Oh, there it is. Oh, Man, what a feed, I just can't stop eating. Sick of crayfish, but I can't stop eating them. <laughs> can't be that sick of them. <laughs> it's the goods. Uh, tapatio hot sauce, tapatio, I don't know how the Mexicans say it. Tapatio, sal bro, sal There you go, you guys don't know about this shit, get it. I'm gonna pick up. <laughs> Jack and Josh, we can see them over there making their way across the sand dunes and then we're going to boost it further down the coast to another spot, anchor up there where we can free dive and hunt at the same spot. I'll go grab them now, get our stash of uh, whale vertebrae too. Yep. Wicker found the cast handler, it's a great representative Stewart Island trophy right there. That's what you can expect if you come hunting down in the uh, Mason Bay block. Massive red stag. Well, that'd be bigger if it was a white tail, but it's red, I think. A couple of whale jawbones. Right, I'm going to go get the lads. All 
right, we're awake. Just a screwy little bastard, this boat. Likes to jump around like a dolphin. Oh dear, about red marks and a lot. Heard a couple of roars. What? Oh. <laughs> Don't want to put a fire up there. Why is it? Those are the sun on the top of the moon. Yeah. It's still a violent thing. No dear. Boys are into it. <laughs> we had a rod over the edge with a half hooker trace on and a hunk of bank, and someone's picked it up and has given it to Herb. Oh, fuck! Wicker and Dan are diving out there and there was a sea lion on the beach and it just jumped in. I've got the drone above him just in case the sea lion decides to tickle him up a bit. Meanwhile, Patient man, where's the hand lines at, brother? Who would have had that shit on ice by now? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, no! Holy hecka! Oh yeah, no, he's got on the leader. Leader it. That's it. It's caught. Cut the line. Oh fuck! You hear the heat on it, eh? Yeah, Hanging. <laughs> well, I'll grab the leader at least, eh? Oh no, he's ugly, I don't even want to touch him. Get your drone off. No, it's down to the shark. <laughs> what was that, bro? <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a bit of cherry wood from North Canterbury from uh, Nigel at Redline Workshop on Instagram. It's dog. It's epic and it makes fish taste real delicious when you smoke it. We're about to smoke those half hooker heads that we caught this morning on this Weber with that wood. <laughs> Top and tails. It's very bromantic, isn't it? <laughs> Could you got any Barry White? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some, uh, what do you call that, uh, fella? Otis Reading. Yeah, put some Otis Reading on. We can hold hands out the back of the boat. Bloody raining. I was sleeping on the roof in my bivy bag, and uh, night before last, I got all ready and put a fly over me. So if it rained, it wouldn't matter. And then last night, I was like, oh, God, I'm too tired. Oh, put the fly up. So I didn't. Of course, it started blowing his guts out, pursing down. It was like gale force winds up on the roof there. And it, actually, the bivy bag handled the jandal okay. Because it's like so out and full flood, eh? Like it was just <laughs> smoking it out. To what's, see? The go, uh, what's the go with this ambergris stuff? I hear you can make a bit of money. Could you explain exactly what it is? Yeah, so it only comes out a certain percentage of male sperm whales, and what it is is that when the when they eat the colossal squid, the beaks inside the the gut cavity of the sperm whale get lodged inside the stomach, and so it's like a you know, it's like an antibody that the whale produces to dislodge the beak from its stomach cavity and then they spew it up. Then it drifts around the ocean for ages and bloody ages and 
um, washes eventually washes ashore. There's two different types. There's a black type, which isn't quite as aged as the white stuff. The white stuff is worth more money. It's just, I guess, less refining. Um, but yeah, it's really quite distinctive. When you pick it up, it smells really musky. Sort of looks a bit like, um, you know, like a ball of melted wax kind of thing that's just been rolled around on the beach. Um, but yeah, it's worth quite a lot of money, man. There's been some uh, some good finds over the years down here. A few local guys have been able to put new engines in their boats and things like that. And um, dogs, you know, just a bit of cash money. You find a bit that's about the size of a golf ball and it's probably worth about 1800 bucks or something like that. So that just gives you a bit of perspective on, you know, how little you have to find to make a little bit of money. So dog we found a couple of bits yesterday eh? week of those two right black bits bro right on the edge eh? and i was like get the lighter out man and he lit it and it started melting and i was like what's it smell like and it was dog plastic but dog it looked just like it man yeah 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 if you're ever looking for it like that's what you do if you've got a lighter or just uh when you get it back to your home or whatever you just heat up a pin and push it into it if it starts to melt and you smell it and it smells kind of sort of scenty musky then that's definitely ambergris if it smells like dog burnt plastic it's burnt plastic but yeah it's pretty uh pretty tricky shit to find what's the plan for today well we're just uh gonna have a bit of fish pie a bit of half hooker pie for brekkie it's just still a bit of fresh easterly here blowing over the hill in the in the valley here but i think it'll be all right we're just gonna go around to pegasus today head out to the east there and uh Head round the Cape, um, have a bit of a glass on a couple of clearings around there for a deer if we can, if it's not too it's not too bumpy. And uh, you'll make our way in the South Passage into Pegasus and probably skin up and go for a wee dive in there and boys can go for a hunt, go for a wee look around. It's um it's fucking heaps of stuff to do in Pegasus, so we'll probably spend a couple of nights in there. Might be able to tick most of the stuff off anyway. There's a few good walks in that up onto the hills here and gain some nice dogs viewing platforms and stuff looking forward to it actually <laughs> get a quick shot of that man oh. dogs i'm not getting the shot <laughs> what happened there mate you get a bit excited drop the milk <laughs> well, let's talk about ambergris, eh? And he's. Watch that splash the long way up, man. <laughs> 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 green scallop straight away on the first dive Is that one even legal? Oh, we'll get this. Those ones are eaters. Those ones are eaters. Fuck. Where are we putting the dumbass? Josh Williams, the only man to ever find an illegal power on Stewart Island. <laughs> There's not many of them out there. Crayfish, power, white bait, deer. Listen to him, the arning on his bloody radio. Oh, he's loving it, he is loving it. Got some walkie talkies, so he thinks he can talk to us the whole time. <laughs> we'll just leave him stew on that one. What about temp and bowling? Fuck that. Love it. We're not going temp and bowling. Will Love we? it, all night long. Just, just looking through the tackle box. What have we got? Look at oh. this, Josh. Squid wing. <laughs> what sort of bait is it? Ooh, it's still got bait on it. Ooh, I can smell it from here. 
Ooh. Yuck. Ooh. Salted something. Ooh. Trevelli. Ooh. Jerky. You're getting a good taste in there. See? That is 